gonna bake a panda chiffon cake. This is one of my favorite cakes because I'm not a cake person. I rarely eat cakes, but it, I'm very fussy about them. I'm telling you. So, but this one is a, one of my favorites. So, I start off by separating the eggs. Now, I'm not very good at separating the eggs. I'm gonna crack all of it in this bowl. And then, separate it, pour the egg here and the egg white there. Make sure you, you don't like ruin it or else you won't be able to separate the egg. There we go. And now, with the spoon, Leave it. Let's forgot. Now we need our sugar to pour it in with our yummy eggs. Be until pale and fluffy. Sorry about that. Be until pale and fluffy. <laughs> vegetable oil. You can use instant or make your own one. The, if you smell it, actually smells pandan and pandan is delicious. And I'll pour the pandan juice in and the oil, the vegetable oil to be exact. Then we have a quick stir of it. You see how quick? It was like one second zap. Shifting time to our cake flour inside the shifter. A little bit fast away. Now time to mix one way only. This is a small one, so you probably need about 18 to 19 centimeters pan. After using the spatula, I'm gonna do a quick mix just to make sure it's not lumpy. Another quick one and we're done. Now let's get adding. Meringue time! So first thing, cream of tartar, in we go. And we go to the bubbly. Not all of it at once. Marine. Heat it up. Just to make sure it's smooth. We don't want to go all at once. For the second time. Time to get whisking again. Last time, normally the last has the most. And soon, it doesn't look very melon like. And to test, wasn't it? You need to make sure it's sharp. We also need to make sure it's firm before me. See how it's sloppy? No way. We can't take that. That means the man's not ready. You need to keep him in. It's a warning sign. But still not. Let's check. No? No. Two. It's good? Yep. You separate the meringue to make three times to make sure it mixes up with the panda. Oh it helps? Holding the bowl. Okay. Okay. That's enough. Mix it until it's quite combined. Third time, pour 
everything with the map. Help me pour it to this bowl. We're going to put higher. Let's put it up. Don't get any on my face. It's not good. Mm. Yes, that's nice, but can't wait to eat this thing. Yes, of course. to hit on the table to make sure it's balanced. And I knew I can't wait to eat this. Hurry up yeah. and put it in the oven. See you. Yeah, yeah. Turn it over. Them just so it keeps the color. But if you want to eat them, just pop them. It's, I'm going to make it the effect of a nest. Yeah, that should look nice. And then, my, as my mum showed you how to make the chocolate flaky nest, you're going to wrap that around. Be very careful, you don't want to destroy your other beautiful shape. If you're a big fan of chocolate, you can, you may add some extra. Happy Easter everyone, but before you go, we the best moment, everyone loves this moment, time to eat. This really smells like real panda and it seems like I'm going to eat a panda leaf. Instead, I recommend, I actually recommend you to make your own one, it will taste way better. It's so spongy. You can the best thing about chiffon cakes, you can dip it in your milk. It tastes brilliant. Mm. It's much, much. <laughs>